we got this board with a lot of uh, uh, notions that it was just the Slayer. One of our riders did it on a demo day at SIA and he, he fell in love with the thing, like a, you know, first sight kind of situation. It is probably the, my most favorite board I've ever ridden in my life. What's up guys, this is Tyler with Board Insiders up here at Timberline Lodge. Today I rode the Marhar Lumberjack. This is a 152 centimeter board. It's almost as fat as it is long. Actually not quite, but it's one of the fattest boards I've ever ridden in my life. So it's flat and then it goes reverse camber. They have a beveled base on it. They call it their sideways rocker base where the highest point on the board is right between your feet right here. And then it bevels out to the nose and tail and it bevels out to the edges. It's real minute, like a millimeter and a half, if that. This board is fantastic. Um, there's some new technology to this thing. It's a short, fat board. It's got, Marhar likes to do this thing where uh, in their side cut, they put a traction bump right at your insert. It's just extra contact points. And what that does is when the rest of the board flexes up because it's so soft, these things keep a nice, awesome edge hold. I explain this board as riding bolts. You ride it from right here to right here. You don't get out on the tip and tail too much. The tip and tail are there to keep you afloat in powder. No matter where you go, no matter what conditions you're in, make the mountain your park. It's, it's not just go be a lazy rider. It makes you want to play around on everything because it handles everything with this new, funky, awesome, surfy, playful style. This thing slays it because you're riding it like a skateboard, but a skateboard with super fat surface area. So when you get on a 50-50, even if you're a little bit drifty, you got so much extra board there that you got a little bit of room to move around and it doesn't feel so uncomfortable. Get on a skinny board in the park, 50-50, you start drifting around, things start to get hairy. The first time I rode it, I rode it at Aspen in deep snow. And it was cool. It like really, it was really snappy through the snow. It never tomahawked on me or any of that stuff. So it handled this pow and I was like, oh, it might be a pow specific board. I kind of liked it there, you know? And then I got it on another day and I, cause I still wasn't feeling the hype that Levi was like leading up to this thing. And then I got to ride it on a groomer day and I had all of this fun just really laying this fat edge into the snow and Euro carving and having fun on groomers and manualing it and just having fun buttering the thing out because it's just so soft. And that's one of the things where we, we, were, we were always ragging on this thing because of the softness and we thought that it wouldn't have the ability to do things because of how much play you get. But as you can see, there's a lot of rebound to that. Oh yeah, this is a butter's dream. You can jump on this board, butter, and just ride down the hill with no worries. It doesn't catch, so you can spin butter down the hill. You could do a straight wheelie down the hill. It's just super easy to do. You can take it out in pow. You can hit the park with it, which is really the, the farthest ends of, that we've always thought of. A pow board is not meant to go hit those rails. It can do jibs and it can do jumps. And then when that deep snow day comes, you're gonna be happy with it as well. It's a new style of quiver killer. It's been the trend this year to have a lot of short, fat, and pointy boards. This is the short fat and not pointy. This is the short fat and the same on both ends. So therefore, riding a switch is just as amazing as riding it regular in any condition. And believe me, you can ride this board in some deep ass snow. It does what I call a porpoise turn or porpoise riding. So you can actually dip the front end of the board underneath the surface of the snow, uncamber the board when your weight gets on it, and it pops up out of the snow without slowing down whatsoever. You can actually dip it under the surface of the powder and pop back out like you just hit a little jump or a little lip. It's an amazing feeling to hop down the mountain and never get slowed down and never worry about your front end getting buried and tomahawking down the hill. Can't find anything wrong with this board and I've been trying. I got to ride this one with SIA and I rode it in POW and it was sick. Um, I got to ride it here on a spring day where it was uh, we started out, we went up top and there was some wind blown, blasted chunder, rode it through the ice, it held well there, and then came down through the slushy park and it ripped around there too. I'd have to look at the footage, but I know that I came up either short or over rotated on rotation and I was thinking I was going to get slammed, but at that beveled base, I was able to just kind of revert around and rode away and was stoked. I've also got to ride the party platter and the war pig and Libtech's Jamie Matt Bialis uh, collaboration. And where this fits in the whole surfy short and fat theme is it's your new all-in-one deck. And it's not too aggressive. It's a really nice feel, very damp. There's a, it's a, on, on the heavier side of board, there's stuff in here doing things for you. And I think that's like part of it's like a rebounding ability and the fact that you can just cruise on it. This is a quiver killer. 
Um, I recommend this to somebody who wants to, uh, somebody who has bigger feet would love this board, but even somebody with small feet will have a whole new ride experience on this board. So I pretty much recommend this to anybody, beginners, intermediate, advanced, no matter who you are or where you're going, you're gonna have fun on this board. Okay, so I wear a nine and a half in my snowboard boot. And this is a pretty wide board. Uh, you would think it'd be sluggish. Um, it's not sluggish at all. It's, uh, it, it's very fast edge to edge. Uh, I gave this board a shred credit of a 95 because it kicks ass anywhere you go in any condition. I gave this board a shred credit of 97. This board does a lot of things on the spectrum really, really well. I love that. It's a Swiss Army knife. It's a lumberjack. It's out there like you can ha hack down a tree with it. I've talked 20 years of snowboarding and I worked at a board shop. I've ridden a lot of boards and this is the first board that I've ever been like this hype on. I'm giving this board a shred credit of a 99.9 .9 because I don't think anything man-made can be perfect, but so far I haven't found a flaw. We'll give it as close as we can. Subscribe and subscribe. Seriously, right now. What are you waiting for?